Hey everyone and welcome. I am working on the third month of the pantry challenge as a lot of people do in the beginning of the year. I am not doing a no cost. I'm doing a very low cost. I'm spending approximately $40 a month and this month I'm doing something a little different because I was going through my inventory, my cabinets and such and I realized I have quite a bit of food, especially canned food and some in my freezer that is either near, at, or past the Best Buy times. And I have some, my home canned things that are from two summers ago with, you know, the next season coming up. I want to use some of those too. So I'm going to be working this month as much as I can on using up what I have in the freezer that's at, that's I know is a year old or was it bought in November when I bought the rest of the food that I stocked up on. My pantry has quite a few canned goods that are um, within a year or so past due and some that are very close. And then of course I wanted to use my home canned goods. So I just thought I'd show you, I, I do things a little different. I don't worry about the exact recipes for anything. I get kind of close. If I don't have something, I don't use it or I can make substitutions and kind of make it my way. So I'll just show you kind of what I'm using up and where I've gone and we'll take it from there and we'll start. This is day one. See you guys soon. All right, for the first meal or meals, now I'm the only one who will probably eat this. The guys might, but it's a, a soup that I really like. I went through first my refrigerator and determined what had to be used right away and that is this chicken broth I made. So I know it's going to be the base for my soup. I have some leftover lemon here that needs to get used up. I have, this is only the beginning of the eggs, you guys. I have probably close to six dozen eggs. My chickens are giving me five to seven eggs a day. I'm averaging six eggs a day. So I'm going to use that as a big, huge protein source here. And I went through the cabinet just briefly the other day and I realized my nephew has a bunch of these chicken packets that are getting they've been here probably close to a year so this one's lemon pepper I'm going to save that for something else this is a fajita one that'll be saved for something else and these are plain chicken so I know the packets don't last as long as the cans so I want to get these used up and I'm thinking for this meal I'm going to use two of them because I'm going to make some chicken lemon rice soup. And I'm going to be using quite a few eggs. So I'm going to have the eggs as part of the protein and the chicken for protein and the flavor. So my next step is to get my rice cooking, which I have already rinsed and I have some water going. And this is more rice than I'm going to need for this meal by far. Because I'm going to use it for a couple other meals this week. And I can freeze the rest. So... This is the beginning of my chicken lemon rice soup that we're going to make to use up some of these foods. I went and prepared what I needed for my soup while my rice was cooking. I had um, half of a two pound bag of carrots left, so I just went ahead and did them all at one time. And of course, I always save my scraps. It's got onion scraps and stuff in there. A little tip for you guys, this time of year things are start to go bad, onions and stuff. You can see I pre-chop everything and if you freeze them, then they're available to you when you're ready to use them. So I have some celery. This was left over from Christmas time. And what I did was I chop it and I put it in a bag. I put it on a sheet pan, freeze it, and then I could take little chunks out. And then this is some onion I didn't realize I still had in the freezer. And my onions were starting to sprout, so I went through a couple days ago and just chopped all those up. So these are my extra onions, and now they're available to me whenever I want to cook. So I went and um, put my rice out, because like I said, it's more than one meal, and I let it cool. And I'm using the same pan I cooked my rice in, so I don't have to make another dirty pan. And I'm just going to go ahead and put my soup together. Pot, I have some oil that I'm going to warm up because I'm going to saute my vegetables for a couple of minutes. Now remember my recipes are not really recipes. It's just sort of things I put together to make things that I like to eat. 
I mean, it's a basic recipe. If you look up any recipe for chicken lemon rice soup, then you'll be able to make something just like this. And you know what? Change it up to what you have on hand. If you don't have celery, don't put celery in it. If you don't have carrots, don't put carrots in it. That's totally up to what you have on hand. I'm just throwing a handful of celery in here and save just a little bit in case I make another kind of soup or something. And then I'm going to add some of those onions. I'm going to use up that one little bag that I had and probably a few of the others. So Now I'm just going to saute these for a few minutes until they soften up. All right, my veggies have thawed and softened and the onions are a little translucent. Now the carrots are not fully cooked, so I'm not going to put everything in here yet because my rice is already cooked and my chicken's already cooked. So the next thing I'm just going to add is my homemade chicken broth. Just so you guys have an idea how much I'm making, this is four cups or a quart of my homemade chicken broth. And I just use leftover bits and pieces off a chicken carcass that I roasted the other day. And I put it in with some water and I make my soup stock. And there's a little bit of sediment on the bottom. That doesn't bother me so much. I don't necessarily use it all because it's a little not pretty. And I'm going to add some garlic. I like a good bit of garlic in my soup. I'm getting a little low on my garlic. This I get from the Dollar Tree. It's nice. It's pre-chopped and ready to go. And I'm going to add, I know I do not salt my broth because I never know what I'm going to use it for. So I'm just going to add some salt to start. And some pepper. Pretty good bit of pepper here. If you have white pepper, it looks a little prettier in the soup, but I don't. And I like to add some thyme to mine. Obviously, if you like other things, add it. I This is what I have. This is what I like. So I'm just going to bring this up to a simmer, and I'm going to simmer till my vegetables are softened before I finish off this recipe. All right, well, I went and looked at it, and I decided to grab another pint of chicken broth that I previously canned. I want to have a good bit of leftover soup to eat off of for a few days and I can always freeze the rest. So this is actually six cups of chicken broth but again you scale it according to what you have and what you need. All right I just wanted you guys to see I'm going to be adding some eggs into this soup here and normally I put four or six depending on how big a pot I make. But there's seven there just because I need to use them up and it never hurts to add a little extra protein in your soup. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to add either water or some more broth if it's too thick. All right, just in case you never worked with eggs going into hot liquid, you don't want them to scramble. You want this to be kind of creamy. What you do is you take some of that hot liquid and you mix it while your eggs are mixing. You can use a whisk if you want. You slowly pour in some of that hot liquid to your eggs. This is called tempering. It brings your eggs up closer to the temperature of your soup so that they don't go in and just scramble. And it depends on how many you have. I have quite a bit of eggs here. This is going right back into my soup anyway, so I'm just going to temper it really well here. Now when I put this into my soup, it's not just make a big scrambled up egg in there. And I'm afraid I'm gonna, it might get in your way a little bit, but I'm just going to pour my eggs in here. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to use them. Uh, I'm going to use them all. I can always thin it down if I want. And because I've already tempered my eggs, I don't have to be quite as careful. I mean, you still have to be careful. If you do an egg drop soup, you just pour them in slow without tempering them. That way you get those strings of eggs in there. Now I just have to add my rice and my rest of my ingredients, check my seasonings, and we'll finish off the soup. I'm going to start with a cup of my pre-cooked rice. Now there are times when I do this without cooking the rice first, and that's an option. You could boil that 
while you're cooking your vegetables, but usually start out with a little bit more broth to that. I happen to like my soup really, really thick, and I could tell you right now that one cup of rice is not enough for me. So I'm going to add one more cup here, approximately. Again, you make it as thick or as thin as you like it. Okay, and I'm going to turn this back on because I do want those eggs to thicken this broth up a little bit. Now, you could have, you could, if it's not thick enough, you could add cornstarch or whatever you want. I'm keeping this simple because I am on Weight Watchers and I don't want to add as too many calories. And that's why I wanted to know how much rice I'm putting in here. Because if I make this eight servings, it's only two points for me. And I'm going to go ahead and open those packets of chicken and add those. Now those are optional. If you have chicken, use it. If you don't, you have the protein from your eggs. Honestly, it surprises me how little chicken is in there. That's two packs. But I'm going to add that. Again, it's not a chicken soup. It's more of a egg rice soup. And I can always, I have more chicken in those packets if I decide to use them. All right, now I just need to add my lemon juice. All right, I'm going to tell you, be, fresh is best, but if you don't have it, you use what you have. If you don't like lemon, don't add it. But it is chicken lemon rice soup. I'm going to add two tablespoons to start. Because I can always say, eh, I'll do three. I like a lot of lemon. Normally I use a full lemon and the zest and all of that good stuff. But I don't have it, so I use what I have. Check my seasonings. I'm just going to add some more lemon here. I'm going to go with one, two, three more. Like I said, I like mine. Like a good hint of lemon in there. Paste here. Almost there. I'm going to finish off this lemon. Go and finish it off just because I like lemon. Now I'm just going to simmer this until everything's warm through and we have a nice pot of chicken lemon rice soup. All right, there's my finished soup. Now usually there's some cream added to this. Obviously I'm not going to add that. Or you could add milk or whatever. Um, sometimes I add sour cream depending on the mood of the day. But this is my basic soup and you can see it's pretty thick. And got a couple pieces of chicken in there. And this was just things I already had that needed to get used up. Right, I'm getting ready to do my next meal and I went through the refrigerator, freezer, and the cabinets. I have some cottage cheese that needs to get used up. This sausage has been in my freezer over a year, so I want to use that. I have no clue how long I've owned these noodles, at least a year, maybe even two. I have some, and this is not common for lasagna, but we like mushrooms. I have some mushrooms that I rehydrated. Well, you can't see them very well. That I'm going to add. And then I have cheese. I have some Parmigiano Reggiano. Just a small bit. And I have two things. This is an old thing of mozzarella that I just tossed in the freezer. And this one has been in the freezer well over a year. So I want to use all of this stuff up probably a couple eggs as well, and I'm going to make two, uh, for us, smaller lasagnas instead of one great big pan. That way I could put one, I think I'm going to make one in my smaller casserole here for another meal, and then I'm going to use my 8x8 or 9x9, whichever it one is, for the meal tonight. All right, I hope I don't insult too many Italians out there. I'm not Italian, so this is my version of lasagna. I took this cottage cheese and the guys don't like lumps so I just run my stick blender through it for a couple of minutes. I'm going to crack in a couple of eggs, mix that in, and I'm going to add that mushrooms to this 
as well just because I need to use them up and quite frankly we love mushrooms here and I want to use them since I have them. So I'm going to mix that in and then I'm going to stir in my mushrooms and that's going to be one of our layers. Right, I'm getting ready to layer up my little lasagnas and I took out, I saved out some sausage for later in the week thinking I'm going to do some kind of a, maybe a breakfast egg bake or something. And I used up three pints. This is, th I'm using three pints of my homemade pasta sauce. This is my, the rest of my sausage. Hopefully I have enough. If not, I will steal back that other. Doesn't have to be a super thick layer. And in my cottage cheese, I added some of the mozzarella because of course, I made it a little too thin, and it was a little liquidy with the eggs in it, so I decided to add some of the mozzarella to it, and that's okay. Like I said, I'm not Italian, guys. I'm doing the best I can with what I have on hand that needs to get used up. My tomatoes are from, uh, I canned them up in 2021, so they really need to get used up. And there you go, I have, just gonna dump, eh, I might save a little bit of that meat sauce yet. And I'm gonna put another layer of noodles. Okay, you guys may think I'm crazy, but I boiled these noodles just enough so that they're a little flexible. And I keep a pair of scissors in my drawer. They're just for my kitchen. And I run them through the dishwasher and now I have I could put them in my noodles in there and not have to try to figure out how to make them work. I know it's a little crazy, but you know what? I do what I do. Now, here is my cheese mixture that I came up with. It's got cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, and mushrooms. I'm going to layer up my next layer of noodles, and then we'll finish it off. All right, I'm going to layer up my sauce on top. And I put it in my cottage cheese container because I wanted to make sure I got all that goodness out of there. Little remnants of cheese and such I had left in there. And I have three noodles left, and I'm really happy I saved out some of that sausage because I think I'm going to do something else for... I can use it for a lunch or to go along with something for a light dinner one night. And that's to make a few lasagna roll-ups. Okay, right, so that's that. I have my rest of my cheese, which I'm going to put on top. This uses up one and a half of those blocks of mozzarella that have been in my freezer forever. Some of it was even a little freezer burned, but... You won't know the difference. And I basically made this meal on just completely out of my freezer, my cabinets, and my homemade veggies. I grew and made the tomato sauce myself, so that is that. And I'm going to bake these. And I'll give you a peek of what they look like when they're all done. All right, this worked out perfect. This is that leftover sausage and some of that mozzarella cheese. I had the three noodles left, and I just spread some of the sauce. I put some of the sauce in that sausage, and I'm going to put them in this little dish here. I have this small little dish. As you can see, I, like I said, I have perfect for three of these little roll-ups and I think there's enough in the let me find my scraper enough of the sauce left I put a little bit on the bottom and I'm going to use my spatula and get out every last drop of this see I even have a little bit of the sausage left to top it with and we will have yet another, this could either be a lunch, I think this would be great with a salad for a lunch for a couple of people. 
I go to my friend's house and I like to take something. This would be perfect for her and I for our lunches, for a lunch. With a nice salad. I can always add more sauce to it if it seems dry later. Might need a little bit more sauce, but I'm going to leave it for now. And I'm going to top it with some of that cheese I have left. And this is going to go in my freezer for now, once it cools off completely. Like I said, maybe I'll go visit with my friend and take it with me that day. And it's already ready to go. It looks kind of fancy because you rolled them. All right, well, there is our things made up, and I'll take a peek at our lasagna once I get it cooked. All right, this is my version of lasagna. I'll take a slice out of here, and we'll see what it looks like on the plate. All right, there we go, and I did have a taste, and it turned out really nice. So there you go. This is my day one. I made the chicken lemon rice soup, and I have three meals of lasagna, probably leftovers on this as well. But I wanted to show you, it, sometimes you got to think outside the box and use up what you got in order to make some really good meals. You guys have a wonderful day. Please leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. Let me know what you think about my made-up meals. Have a wonderful day, everybody.